Now, we need to multiply a three digit number by a single digit number, and we're going to use the expanded column method. First, we have 353 times two. So we can write our question out with the larger number or the number with the most digits on top. But this time, we're going to need three answer lines. That's because on this first answer line, we're going to multiply our ones digit. Then on the second answer line, we're going to multiply our tens digit. And on our third answer line, we're going to multiply our hundreds digit. Then we're going to add up our answer lines to get our answer. So first, multiplying our ones digit, three times two is six. So now we can write a zero on the end of our second answer line. And that's because we're going to multiply by our tens digit. So we need a zero in our ones. Five times two is 10. So moving on to our third answer line, we need two zeros in our tens and our ones columns. That's because we're multiplying by the three that's in our hundreds. So we need zeros in smaller place values. Three times two is six. So now all we need to do is add up our answer lines and we have our answer 706. Notice the reason why we could write a zero in our second answer line is because five tens is the same as 50 and 50 times two is 100. But if we write a zero at the end, we don't need to multiply 50 by two, we can just multiply five by two and get the same answer. And here for our third answer line, we could write zeros in our tens and ones because this three is in our hundreds, so stands for 300. And 300 times two is 600. But because we'd already written zeros in our tens and ones, we just had to do three times two to get six. So now let's try 457 times five. For our first answer line, we need to multiply our ones digit and seven times five is 35. Now we can write a zero on the end of our second answer line, so in our ones, because we're going to multiply our tens digit and five times five is 25. Now remember, for our third answer line, we need two zeros in our tens and our ones because we're multiplying by the four that's in our hundreds. Four times five is 20. So now if we add up our answer lines, we get 2,285. Now we have 293 times seven. Three times seven is 21. We write a zero in our second answer line and now nine times seven is 63. We write two zeros in our third answer line and now two times seven is 14. So now one plus zero plus zero is one, two plus three plus zero is five, six plus four is 10, so that's one zero, and one plus one is two. So we get 2,051. So let's take another look at this first question. We had 353. So in 353, we have three hundreds, five tens, and three ones. We were multiplying by two, so we can show the place value counters that we have two times. Now we have 10 tens, but we can regroup 10 tens into 100, and that gives us our answer 706, because now we have seven hundreds, no tens, and six ones. Then we had 457, so that's four hundreds, five tens, and seven ones, and we were multiplying by five, so we can show 457, two, three, four, five times. Now we can regroup 10 ones into one ten. We can regroup 10 tens into 100, and we can regroup 10 hundreds into 1,000. And when we do the regrouping, 
you can see that we have two thousands, two hundreds, eight tens, and five ones. So that's why our answer is 2,285.